We're going to start off with this piece today. We're going to be dry brushing some burnt umber. This should make those grooves pop that we made with the brush. Now remember, cardboard works good at help, helping take off some of the excess. Can you see how that's popping? It's kind of hard to see, isn't it? So I'll finish this up and be back with you in a minute. Okay, here we go. I went and got a flashlight so maybe you can see this a little bit better. I don't know if that helps you or not. See the grooves? How That looks really, really good. So, while this is drying, we'll start working on something else. Catch you in a bit. Okay, what well, we're going to start off with Dracula's castle. Now we need to make a little bit on his pathway here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little bit of the play sand. Won't take much. And I'm going to get a little bit of black because that's what the steps mostly look like. We're going to Get a little, put a little bit in with the sand and mix this up. Then we're going to put a little bit of glue in here. And mix that up okay now we're just going to put it on here where we want our path that just give it a little bit of grit and give it a little bit of build up see we don't need much This is kind of like with the path here, I painted the glue on and then sprinkled it and then went back with the watered down PVA. And I'm not going to worry about going back over this one with watered down PVA because we're fixing to flock it so we'll go all over it with the watered down glue. Okay, we're going to let that dry and then we're going to dry brush it with the gray granite like we did the steps okay we're going to set this aside and let it dry and I'll clean up our mess okay while everything else is drying we're going to try to flock the bridge a little bit we'll see what it looks like this is what I'm using woodland scenic you can get all different kinds 
this is what we're going to try. First, we're going to get some glue. Put it on their spots where we want. Going to get me a brush. Kind of spread it around a little bit. This does have a shaker or a spoon. We're going to try the shaker. This first time I've used this, so we'll see what it does. I put down some paper towels so that it catch whatever flock that were that falls off. Just going to pat it down a little bit. Well, that's not looking bad. So, let's go ahead and do some more of this stuff we got up here on the edge. Now you don't want to try saving your flock after you spray it. I'm just dumping it back in the jar. Okay, now we're going to get our watered down glue and just spray it. Really good. Soak it. And when it dries, it's supposed to dry hard. The sand worked really well, so. Okay, I'll do the rest of it, and I'll catch you back in a, look, a few. Okay, now we're back to our skull. He's pretty dry. So what I'm going to do now is paint this with the glue down here on the bottom and sprinkle it with some flock. I need to get us a little bit smaller paintbrush to do some of these edges. And then all we'll do is sprinkle it on here just like we did 
with the steps. Okay, I'll see you back when we're finished. Okay, here's what we look like right now. While this is drying, I got some glow-in-the-dark paint. I'm going to paint the skull. I do have some spray glow-in-the-dark that we'll be using later, but I tested it, and it also eats the styrofoam. So I'm going to get a smaller paintbrush, and then I'm going to paint. Let's see if you can see. I'm just going to paint him over with the glow-in-the-dark paint. Okay. Catch you in a few. Okay. I got some different kind of foliage. This is clump foliage from Woodland Scenic. Different colors. This is different kind of stuff that I picked up. This I happen to pick up at Walmart. Okay. And then I got some of this at Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to dump it in here all mixed together and we're going to pick out some and put on our skull. Be right back. Now here's the stuff that I got from Walmart. I don't know if you can see it, but we got all sorts of different colors in there and different textures. Looks pretty good. Now here's our clump foliage from Woodland Scenic. Okay. We're just going to be mixing some of this up. And using different colors. Just pick you out whatever color you'd like, however big you want it. Put you some glue. And then press your foliage down in there where you want it. Okay? I'll see you back in a few. Okay, here's where we're at so far. I don't know if y'all can see that. I hope so. I went and added a little moss up on the tree. So, now all we got to do is uh, spray it all over with watered down glue. Soak it really good. Then, we're going to put glue on the top and put the glue the top on and we won't be able to touch anymore until tomorrow. Okay, catch you in a few. Okay, we're going to go back to Dracula's Mountain. We're going to put some flock on the top here. We're going to do it the same way. We're going to put glue, spread glue all over the top. Better turn off my fan or we're going to flock everywhere.
If you can see, I took some gray, the gray granite, and touched up where our path is at there. Boy, this styrofoam likes to suck that stuff in there. Now we're going to take our flock and sprinkle it all over everywhere. Okay, I'll see you back when I'm finished. Okay, now that we've got that done, we want to take our watered down glue and just squirt over everything, including the sidewalk here, because it will dry really, really hard. See, it's hard. Just wet it down really good. Okay, now we're going to let that dry. Okay, while that stuff's drying, we're going to work on another little project. Uh, remember, we cut some scraps out of our... Um, sign board or you can use foam board just anything that's not going to warp when we did our das clay the other day i had a little bit left over so i went ahead and covered the das clay on this and i made some holes in it like for some trees and other stuff so when it dried it'd be easier to do that so this is what we're going to work on right now I've got my hot glue gun and my real hot glue gun this time heating up. So we're going to put a little bit of hot glue down in this hole for the tree. And also, if you want to, you can use your hot glue gun to make little roots that leads off from the tree. So it will look good when we get down to painting it and stuff. Now this is just, I made this tree off of some artificial plants. Give that time to set and dry a little bit. Okay. like this. We'll use some of this later on. It's a vine and I got the main part, the base part, to use as a tree.
Also, I had some of this left over, just floral stuff. And so I cut some of it up, and we're just going to stick some of it down in here too, just just for decoration. I also made the hose for them too before that while the clay was still. Just put these any way you want. This is supposed to be Halloween, so. I also got some pumpkins, different kind of pumpkins that you can use. I got some with faces. And just some without faces, just little bitty decorating pumpkins. Also, I've got some cats, some bats, some skulls. Just little stuff that you can throw in here any, any way you want to, to help decorate your pieces. Okay? Now next, let me unplug my glue gun here peel off some of these. Well, I got some on my leaf. Peel off some of these little spiders that we have here from making the roots. Okay, uh, let me get the stuff so we can do some painting. I'll be right back with you. Okay, now what we're going to do is I'm going to make some watered down paint. This is a Halloween village, so I'll be using a lot of black. I'm just going to put some black paint in the bow. And so while this is going to be doing the same thing that I've been using with the spray bottle, but since we're doing it inside, we want more water than we do paint. It's just a wash. Depending on how black you want it, how much water you use. Then we're just going to paint it on. And if that's not uh, dark enough for you, all you have to do is add, add some more black paint. Make sure you get the sides because that white will really stick out if you don't. That's pretty light. We'll get a little bit more black. Okay, well that's drying. I'm going to go ahead, let's put that on something. Get some paint bottles here. I'll let that drip. 
Okay, let's go ahead and I've got some other ones here. We'll go ahead and just Do the same thing with them. Okay, I'll turn this over. Don't want my hose to get stopped up there. I don't even know what I'm going to use some of them for. Um, I just had some of that clay left, so I thought... This will just be a tree base. Also, with some of the clay that I had left over, I tend to make some ghosts out of clay later. But I went ahead and made some little balls on this floral wire because I want to make some ghosts that look like they're flying. That's what this piece here is for. I made hose so that this could stick in there later. But we're, I just wanted this for the head. We're going to do some uh, clay later on and let it come over here for the ghost part. But I, well, I had the clay left over. I didn't want to waste it so I went ahead and did this. And it takes uh, 24 hours to dry. So that's where we're at. We'll let this dry and we'll be back with you in a minute. Okay, while well, all the other stuff's drying, we're going to work on the graveyard. Okay, we're going to do it the same way we've done everything else. Now I do have a new color of uh, foliage that I've been waiting on to do the graveyard. It is also Woodland Scenic, but it's a, a gold. And I kind of thought it would kind of give the illusion of the grass turning turning yellow just cover your whole area with the glue I went and bought me one of them great great big bottles of glue so I could refill this one use a lot and a lot of glue doing this Okay, where I want to put the gold is down here where it drops down a little bit for Sally.
Okay, and then we're going to spread our green. So I'll be back with you guys in a few. Okay, here's what it looked like. I went back and sprayed a, sprinkled a little bit of the gold on top of the green. And then now we're going to coat it with our water and glue. Make sure we coat it real good. This is to help it set. So when you store it, you won't be losing all your moss off of here. Okay, I will finish this up and we'll see you next time.